This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to 479 Spotlight, where we provide the uh, free promotion to local businesses in NWA to give them more exposure and create more trust in the community. Overall, we want to provide an inside look to our local business heroes that keep NWA running. My name is Brock Holland, a small business owner in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and founder of 479 Spotlight. Today we have Brittany Miller. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she is with uh, Brittany's Balloons in Springdale, Arkansas. And so these interviews have two main focuses. First, we're going to address any customers or potential customers that might be listening, and then we'll be talking to either current entrepreneurs or wannabe entrepreneurs and kind of give more insights to Brittany's story. So let's get started. Brittany, are you ready? Yes. Fantastic. Well, how long have you been doing Brittany's Balloons? It started right before COVID, <laughs> so probably like January of last year, actually. Uh, okay, okay. And I'm getting then, a lot uh, of these lately. Yep, just right before COVID. So it's been okay. about a year and a half-ish, maybe. Okay, uh, and who exactly do you serve? Who would you say is your ideal customer? Anybody who wants to throw a party or have a celebration and wants some like really cute decor that's super in that doesn't want to do it themselves. <laughs> okay. Then I do okay, it for okay. you. <laughs> Perfect. So give me just like a visual description. What does uh, these balloons look like? Like what are we talking about? So um, right now it's like a super in thing to have really pretty balloon garlands, balloon walls, and like things like that. So usually what I do is blow up different sizes of balloons so you have a lot of like variety of balloon sizes and textures and then I'll find somewhere that you know needs like a wall or something that needs dolled up or I've done it on fences or doorways and then I just you know I attach the balloons and make them all pretty and whimsical looking and it's just a really like it's a really eye-catching thing that is like really super simple it's just balloons but like it's super eye-catching and people really like it and they think it's really pretty that's awesome okay yeah. okay 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 so essentially you're just adding variety or visual appeal to mm -hmm. a either event party weddings i'm sure like just yes. anything anybody's doing okay okay cool yeah, anything anyone's doing now is there much competition for you in northwest arkansas that well, I, so I started seeing like balloon stuff at um, this event called Rialana's. It's a consignment event for moms. And anyway, I saw this really, really pretty, like gigantic balloon thing. And these balloons were huge, like three feet wide. And I was like, I didn't know they made balloons that big. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> and then one of my really good friends that lives in Idaho started a balloon um making balloon garlands and so i was looking at her stuff and then i decided hey it can't be that hard and so i just made a couple for like some parties at my house and and stuff like that but as far as i'm aware there's several like party companies and things within northwest arkansas that offer balloon garlands as like a extra but i'm not sure exactly if anybody else offers just balloon garlands i'm not sure okay so you're you're like a like a, a pioneer here, like with your balloon art. It's like I feel like balloon garlands are like people. I mean, people like balloons, but I feel like they're kind of a new thing, and they're kind of they're starting to get real trendy. So people are okay. looking for stuff like that. Hey, it's it's awesome to be on the right side of the wave, no doubt I about guess it. So. I guess so. <laughs> so if, if a customer, um, you know, wants to be making a decision between your business and let's say two or three others that you're doing this as well, why would you suggest that they at least give you a try? Well, uh, my cost is probably less. My husband thinks I should charge more, but <laughs> I'm just a stay-at-home mom. It's like really easy for me to blow up these balloons at home. I just I, when I get an order, I, I ask for half the money up front. That way I can purchase all the balloons. And then I spend an afternoon mm -hmm. or like not even really an afternoon. And I blow up all the balloons in a big room. My kids love it. They play with them for a while. And then I string them all together. And then I bring them to whoever's event or party mm -hmm. it is. And then I install it there and like make sure, you know, finagle it so it looks cute. But I mean, for the most part, people are doing just parties for like one day 
I haven't done an event that's been like across multiple days. So I'm not buying super expensive balloons. So my cost okay. is actually a lot lower. Someone who like, like this real Lana's event where the balloon thing needs to be up for like a week and a half, they need to buy more expensive balloons so that they can have that up for a week and a half. But like most Makes of us like do kids parties and grad parties and things like that. And it's like, they're staying up for a few hours and then you just pop them and put them in the trash. So it's like, right. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I should buy super expensive balloons for something that's just for an afternoon. But it just Man. all depends on the customer, what they want and stuff like that. Of course. Yeah, I, I'm learning more about balloons than I ever thought I would be interested to know. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, okay. So then um, what would you say then that your customers, you know, lives kind of look like after they have bought your, you know, your service that, you know, they, they decide to go with you, that you put this up for them? Like, what are they experiencing? Well, first off, they're getting like a one-on-one -on -one chat with me. We're talking back and forth about what ideas they have in mind. And then I kind of, I now I'm able to show more pictures of things that I've done, but I'm also just a creative person. So a lot of the times people can send me stuff on Pinterest or something and go, hey, I like something like this. And I say, oh yeah, this is gonna cost you about this much with me. And, um, and then after that, you know, we can, we stay in touch and we can finagle things. Oh, I actually don't want silver balloons. I want this balloon instead. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. And then I'll come to their house and I'm a really nice person and I think I'm really funny. So we have a great time while I set up your balloons and nice. I'm not super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll come and set up your balloons and, um, and then from then on, you know, you just get to enjoy them. And I love it when people take pictures and send them to me. Um, and yeah, I from love the it when, yeah, I love it when they tag me on Facebook because that's how I get seen more is people say, oh yeah, I really liked this balloon thing. Or, you know, when people come and see their balloons, oh, those balloons are cute. And you say, oh yeah, buy Britney's balloons or whatever. So that's kind of how it is. And then if a disaster ensues and your balloons fall down, I can come and put them back up before your event or whatever. Nice. Just, that's only happened to me once in like the, like a lot of balloons I've done. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you're, I mean, you're essentially providing a, a very unique uh, design perspective. I mean, you, you're providing what I call like a, like a social media moment where people at this event are gonna be able to, you know, get a photo with this that you normally yes. wouldn't see in other places, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah, awkward. for sure. Okay, um, all right, well, do you have any tips or advice about balloon garlands, uh, either whether someone's looking to do it themselves or things they might watch out for if they're gonna hire someone for this service? Like, what kind of tips or advice would you offer? look out for like it. if they were gonna if they were gonna hire someone to do a balloon garland for them yeah yeah start that way and then if you know if they thought they were gonna do it themselves maybe it's harder than they expected I don't know I, don't, I have nothing I have no yeah. idea how to do this <laughs> yeah well I guess first off I learned um, I've learned some tips and tricks via YouTube videos lots of people there's lots of YouTube videos out there um, I have a good friend that like I said has done balloon garlands and she's a little bit more better than me, more better. <laughs> she does um, bigger events and her balloon garlands are starting to get really intense. So she right. has a lot of good Grabbing. tips and tricks, you know, with adding like the smaller clusters of balloons or, or things like that. Um, my, I guess my advice would be always have command strips in your car. <laughs> <Cause> <laughs> you never know if someone's going to have something to hang it up on, but it's super easy to throw a command strip up there and go, here you go. Now you can, you, we can hang it on this and it's not going to ruin your wall or whatever. Um, sure. but yeah, watching, watching YouTube videos. Um, one thing I've learned is that balloons are actually really, if you don't blow up a balloon all the way, it's super malleable. So I've shoved like these giant balloon garlands in my van and I'm just like pushing as hard as I can to get in there and they don't pop because um, wow. the balloon's not filled all the way, so they have room to like wiggle and stuff. So people get super nervous when I'm like manhandling these giant balloon garlands and they're like, that's going to pop, but it really doesn't pop. They're pretty, they're pretty durable. Even though I don't buy like super heavy duty balloons, like the really mm -hmm. expensive kinds, um, they're, they're pretty malleable anyway. Okay. 
Okay, awesome. Well, that's very interesting. Like I said, never thought I would want to <laughs> know so much about balloons. Um, well, there you go. So how can someone buy your product or how can they buy your service? Right now, I'm only taking um, orders on Facebook. So I have a Facebook page called Brittany's Balloons. You can okay. message that business page and I will, it just comes to my phone and I'll get back to you. And then what happens usually is we schedule a date um, and a time and then you send me um pictures of things that you want for like basic balloon garlands you know something that's you know you want you want something to cover a mantle or you want something to cover a wall and it's just a balloon garland and you want some variety of um like sizes of balloons or like variety of colors it's i'm like super easy i charge ten dollars a foot so if you want a 10 foot balloon garland which is pretty big it's a hundred dollars if you want one to cover a really pretty one to cover a mantle it's probably 50 bucks because it's like five feet long so it's like it's really super simple and then if we want fancier balloons and we just i just charge the cost of the balloon from there on um nice. yeah then we just talk back and forth on on facebook messenger and that's what's worked for me right now so I don't have okay. that many that I'm like so overwhelmed, but I just, I, as soon as I get a date, I like write it in my calendar on my phone and I put the person's name. So that way, if I, you know, if I'm scheduling something out in advance, like a month or so, when it comes time to do that, I'm not like, oh, whose garland was this? I don't remember as I always add their name. So then I just go back on my Facebook messenger and search for their name and then, and then get a hold of them that way. Okay. So on Facebook, uh, Brittany's balloons go message Brittany and you can at least start a consultation decide if um, you know this is a good fit for you okay awesome exactly. <laughs> all right well if that's good let's uh, switch over to the entrepreneur side of things which is kind of my favorite part um, what made you want to start this especially in January of 2020 <laughs> I know well my husband started a business in Northwest Arkansas that's what brought us here and I loved watching him grow and develop mentally and emotionally as a person as he started a business and okay. I'm a stay-at-home mom I have a, a bachelor's degree I could be teaching school right now but that's not something that I wanted to do right now but I also like having other things to do when I'm home as a mom um, and I also like contributing to our financial um, like I like to contribute to our tree. financial status your, fi your financial also, tree Three, yes. <laughs> and 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 I also am like a really creative person, so I need creative outlets to keep me happy. So this was something that was is a it was more of a creative outlet for me that I was mm -hmm. capitalizing off of, which I'm sure. really good at, I guess. <laughs> so sure. 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 It's, yeah. So I wanted to just have something that I could do for fun that I can make a little money off of. And that's how that got started. Okay. Um, well, if that's the case, then what was the toughest thing that you went through while you were trying to get started? Um, and what I mean I, is like, maybe was it, was it the skill side? Was it customers? Was it like, what aspect of the business was the most difficult to get? Sure. Let's, I feel like, I feel like everything's hard a little bit when you get started because you're just trying to figure out stuff. Um, it, it, it took me a bit to get my ducks in a row of like how to organize how I was going to keep track of everybody, you know, because mm, um, mm -hmm. at first, if it's like one garland, you know, every other week, it's really easy to keep track of that. But as soon as I was doing, you know, there's some weeks where I have like three or four in a week and then I don't have any. And mm -hmm. so that's hard to keep track of it. So it took me a minute to figure out, okay, how do I want to organize this? And then as far as skill sets go, I just feel like I, I, I can't offer things that I'm not comfortable doing. I mean, I could, but then I, I'm like doing a disservice to the customer. So there's been a couple times where people send me stuff and I'm like, I'm actually not comfortable doing that. I could try, but I, there's no way that I'm going to promise you that it's going to look like this. So just sure. knowing your boundaries and knowing like, okay, what am I actually comfortable with doing? You know, I always say like under promise and over deliver. Like that's, right. that's like a it's great stuff. motto to live by. <laughs> yep. Safest bet. Yep. Yes. Okay. 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 Cool stuff. Well, that's very interesting. I mean, yeah. The back end, I think of any, 
entrepreneur that's starting a business and they realize like, whoa, there's way more to being organized than you thought there mm-hmm. was. Um, I think that's, uh, to me, that's always the biggest shock in, in any venture I've been in. Because you think, oh yeah, oh, yeah, like conceptually wise, the model is super simple, but when it comes down to actually keeping everything together, it's like, whoa, I need that tool and that tool and that tool and that tool. So anyways. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, if that's the case, if uh, you had to start over from day one, is there anything that you would do differently? Start in January 2021? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Probably okay. not because I liked having a slow start. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? Because I could learn as I go. But maybe it would really be nice to know some of the like the tricks that I do now for installing balloon garlands or I used to start with like really, really fine fishing line, but then it would get tangled and sometimes it would snap. But now I buy just the thickest fishing line you can get like the 50 pound (laughs) whole fishing line because it's super easy to work with. It doesn't get tangled and it's not going to break. So that would be a big change that I would do. Wasted a whole bunch of frustration from, uh, from using thin fishing line. <laughs> okay, well, be, besides 50 pound fishing line, uh, is there any one person or product or service that has just made a huge positive shift in your business? Probably just my husband just cheering me on and going, you're doing a good job. And, you know, <laughs> telling me, you know, telling me that I can do it no matter, you know, no matter what. And giving me also the, the, he's really patient with me when I say, hey, I need to go install this balloon garland. So I need you to watch the kids so that I can go put this up and have my have my Zen moment and, you know, fix this so it looks pretty without kids running around because that's that's always great. Always but my great. kids love the balloons. They love it that's that right. I do it. Cause that's, a, that's a big help. I'm always right. like, you can play with all the balloons except when I blow up the big ones because I'm like, those are $8 balloons if you pop that coming out of your college fund <laughs> <laughs> mom dollars yeah Got a couple of friends doing mom dollars is that's all i'm taking all your mom dollars away all right mom all right all right um what is the let's see what's the number one way that you currently bring in new customers i'm assuming it's word of mouth unless you've got some cool tricks up your sleeves it, it actually i when i so i go to a women's networking meeting it's called okay. women in networking um there you go. i made a a friend there she um is an event planner so at Hmm. first i did a couple events with her um so i installed a balloon i did a balloon garland at one and then like a lighted balloon wall at the other and and then once i had i had a couple oh my gosh once i had those i had some great photos that i felt comfortable putting on Facebook marketplace and running an advertisement. So I ran an advertisement for, I think like three days or five days, because that's all I could afford. Um, And then I got some hits there, but a lot of them weren't local, but um, I did some there. And then I can't remember, but I, I have a Facebook marketplace ad, but so things were kind of slow going until I did a balloon garland at someone's house. It was just for like a 17th birthday party. It wasn't like a giant balloon garland. It wasn't that like fantastic in my mind, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. she, um, she posted it on her Facebook page and tagged my business page. And from then on, I think I booked like four people just from her word of mouth. And so yeah. now that I have, I have those four people's word of mouth. I'm starting. It's like a tree and it's growing. So in my opinion, I think word of mouth is like the most valuable asset for me. So I'm now when I'm installing balloon garlands, I'm like, hey, tag me on Facebook because or tell your friends. And that's that makes that easy for me to get more customers. Very cool. Well, I like the um, the idea you shared when you're, you know, go to the networking event. You met the event planner and now you basically kind of create this partnership like you know, looks and I can provide this service that you probably can't get anywhere else. So if, mm-hmm. you know, one of your clients need this, you come to me. I, I, that's a great, great way to get things set up and get things rolling. It's fantastic. Networking is really, really valuable. It's really fun. In my opinion, I like to meet, I like, I'm like a hype girl. I like to cheer other people on. You're doing a good job, like with your business. <laughs> and so I like to learn about other people's businesses and cheer them on. 
and be authentic about cheering them on because then, you know, when they have, when someone comes to them, you know, with a need that I can fulfill, they're going to go, oh, this person's really nice. And they, you know, they, I don't know, they're, they're a valuable employee. Like you can hire them and they, they will do a good job. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's see for anyone that's listening that maybe can serve you. What's a major challenge that you're facing like right now? Anything you're trying to overcome that someone might be listening and say, Hey, yeah, I can help you solve that problem. Um, I mean, as far as organization goes, it would be kind of nice to outsource that to somebody else, you know, Mm -hmm. to say, Hey, I, you know, having someone else make the calendar of this is what garlands you need at this time and this day. So then it would be a lot easier for me to just go purchase the balloons or purchase them online and then go install them. Cause that does take up a lot of my time, you know, sitting on my phone, uh, messaging mm-hmm. people. And that's not something that I want to be doing all the time. Um, sure. sometimes it's helpful, but yeah. Well, this, this may be leading into this. And so in the next six months to a year, where do you see your business? Well, I would hope that I can keep it small enough that I don't have to um, put my kids on the back burner, but I would hope that it would grow enough that I could maybe hire somebody else to help me because that would be a great, it's a great thing to be able to provide somebody else with an employment opportunity. We live in America, so (laughs) like we can do that. So that's what makes that's, yep. yeah, that's what makes entrepreneurship so great. And it's a great feeling when you're able to provide somebody else with employment. Okay. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, you've kind of already hit it th- on this in the beginning, uh, but I'm going to ask it anyways, just to reiterate, like, why are you doing this? Like, what was, what was your why to push you forward? Well, my, my why has always been selfishly rooted and it's just because, I like I wanted something for myself to prove something to myself, but I, now I feel like it's not so much that, um, now I feel like it's, um, setting an example to my children of hard work and, um, organization. And also I, I appreciate, I also like learning new things so that I can teach others. Like, like, mm. I feel like everything that I have learned and gleaned in my life, like, I want to share it with other people. And so, like, opportunities like this, where I do get to share some of these right. tips with other people, I really appreciate right. that. And that's kind of why I do it. Awesome. That's, that's fantastic. All right. Well, um, let's do a one more shameless plug. What's the best way for someone to get in contact with you, with you to purchase your services? Just go onto Facebook and type up Brittany's Balloons. B R I T T A N Y S. A N Y. I know someone asked me. Someone. I went to a network me, networking meeting to to promote Britney's balloons, and I didn't have a name for it yet. They were like, mm. you know, "What's your business called?" I was like, "Britney's <laughs> balloons." Like I almost like dumb because I was like, they both start with B, and that's that makes sense. But then, so I just called it that, like almost as a joke, and then I was like. It works, but but yeah, go to Brittany's Balloons on Facebook. You can scroll through some of the things that I have done so far, and then you can send me a message and send me a picture of something you like, or you know, just say hey, or, you know, I, I like your work. <laughs> I, I I I love this because I I talk to too many people far too often. Like they get so tied up in like branding and names and logos yeah, yeah. and like all of this stuff that is so outward, and they like either disregard or put on the back burner, just pure execution. And that's what I'm seeing from you. You, You've said, listen, I can do this. I'm getting myself out there. Even I don't, I don't have all my ducks in a row, you know, per se, Right. but your execution is what's propelling your business forward. And it, at the end of the day, like, okay, Brittany's balloons, like maybe you could have come up with a cooler name. I don't know, but I like Brittany's balloons. But (laughs) my point is like, you wouldn't be where you are if you were still worried about what to call your business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you 
you spend your whole time going, what should my logo look like instead of actually yeah. just going out and making a name for yourself. Exactly. I, and, and don't get me wrong. There is a time and a place. There's a time and a place, exactly. but it just, especially like at a, as a solopreneur, you know, level, we get way too, way too worried about what other people are going to think about our name and our logo and our colors and blah, blah, blah. Like just get out there and perform and people will pay attention. Definitely. Definitely. Awesome. Well, we are almost done. Let me wrap up here. So again, this is 479 Spotlight and our mission is to provide free promotion to local businesses in NWA and give them more exposure and create more trust in the community. To get notified of new interviews, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube by searching 479 Spotlight or by going to 479spotlight.com. If you are a business owner and would like to be featured, just schedule your interview on 479spotlight.com. Thank you so much, Brittany, for joining us, um, for being here. Um, and thank you for anyone that's tuning in. Any last words? Have a great day. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you.